We know you have lots of questions and we are on your side. We do have some questions too. What is the monster's deal? How do the talismans work? Will these people ever find a way out? Unfortunately, the show refuses to answer our questions for now, and instead they create new questions in each episode. We hope with the sixth episode, we will start to see some action. We are not so sure that they will just drop the answers, but we still enjoy a good mystery and action. As long as they give us a creative and logical explanation in the end, we are okay with it. Now, let's take a look at the biggest mystery of the show, the town. In a recently shared video, we see Eon Bailey, who portrays Jim in the show, and he talks about the town's mystery. When he is asked about the radio tower, he says that it brings a little bit of hope, but he also thinks that the voice his character heard might not be good at all. This whole thing could be an experiment, and the voice could be one of the people who are responsible for the experiment, which means they are in great danger. We all know that there are an infinite amount of possibilities in this show, and the town being a setting for an experiment actually makes sense. He probably talks about this theory because it's widely accepted by the fans. Also, we know that Jim believes that too. So even though he's just reflecting his character's opinion, we still think this might be a clue or it's a distraction. Even the actors of this show are mysterious. Is he trying to make us believe that it's an experiment so that we will be surprised by the reality of this town? Are we trapped? We don't know. What we know is that the experiment theory is plausible. Here's why. Earlier, we see that Boyd and Sarah found the lighthouse. That's exactly where we think the voice Jim heard was coming from. As he was on the right path by trying to make the radio tower work, the controllers of the experiment tried to prevent it from happening somehow. The voice knew what Tabitha was doing in the basement, so we know that they are all being watched, even in their houses. Moreover, we know that they even know about the people's lives before the town. How come? As for the monster kids in Boy in White, they might be a glitch on the system. Because this experiment should be nothing like we already know. It's complicated, and it's strong. We already know that when people take action to get some answers, the town somehow manages to stop them from going further. Therefore, this experiment might actually be a part of a simulation. Do you remember when Sarah heard Boyd's deceased wife's voice? She tried to warn them and let them know that death is not the way to get out of this town. Is she taken away to somewhere else? Or were the controllers mimicking her voice to stop Sarah and Boyd going further? We also have another reason why we believe this whole thing could be an experiment. As you may remember, when Jade came to town, he was in denial. He thought the whole thing was an escape room kind of game. We never gave it a thought, but maybe he was right. The whole thing may be a part of an experiment that tries to observe people's behavior under dangerous conditions, and the main objective of the experiment is to see how many of them will survive or find a way out. That might be one of the reasons why the town strikes back when someone pushes their luck to get answers. Besides, in the latest episode, we learned that there were people even before Victor, and somehow they all ended up dying. So we have no clue when this all started. Great. When Victor's mother told him to hide somewhere that Christopher doesn't know, he did it. But in the morning, he saw that the street was covered with corpses. So maybe there is a time for everyone to be wiped out from the experiment so that new people may arrive in the town. Since Victor never asked too many questions and pushed the town's limit, he's not a threat to the experiment and he may stay there until the day he dies. Last but not least, let's talk about monsters' role in this experiment. We never saw them chase their prey. Instead, they just smile and walk. They create tension among the settlers, but we saw that when Randall told them that he's not afraid of them, they just walked away. Is that a developed code for them to stop? Was it that easy from all along? Honestly, they look like robots. We also know that they sleep in caves during the day. How do they know that it's day or night? If they are robot-like creatures, maybe they have a timer or something. What do you think about our theories? Do you think this is just an experiment in a simulation? Don't forget to share your theories as well. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you soon.